Hi friends, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Welcome to another at home edition of Worship on Wednesdays. So glad that you could join us. If you're paying attention this weekend, we announced that in August on the first and third Wednesday, so the fifth and the 19th, we are going to be doing worship on Wednesdays in the parking lot at church. So you'll drive your car up, park, turn your radio to um, the station that we tell you, and we will be worshiping together at Nativity. I'm super excited. The pastors will both be there to share some messages and some words of wisdom and prayers of hope. So I hope that you can mark your calendars and join us then. But for the next few weeks, we'll keep doing it this way. And um, this week, it's a little bit of a challenge. Um, if you watched the weekend's worship, you knew we started a series on the book of Job, which, well, it's kind of a depressing book. <laughs> um, and we started right at the beginning. Um, and as Pastor Glenn shared, we're not really sure that this is a true story, but it's to teach us a lesson. Um, that there's this man named Job that does everything right. He's a great man, takes care of his family, takes care of his land, takes care of the people that work for him, and he loves God. And I think Satan was a little jealous and said, would this man still love you if he didn't have all those things, if things weren't going great, if he wasn't full of abundant blessings? And so at the very beginning of our story, Job loses everything. He loses his land, he loses his animals, he loses his family. It's heartbreaking. And at the very end of our reading this week, he still chooses to lift his hands up and praise God. And so the story of Job invokes the age old question, why do bad things happen to good people? I don't think this is real. I don't think Satan looks at you and says, I'll make a deal with you, God. I don't think that's happening in our lives. But we do ask ourselves, maybe we don't say it out loud, but sometimes we do ask ourselves a question. Why did my car break down? I'm a good person. I've been helping people out during this pandemic. I've been supporting causes. <sighs> Why does something bad happen to me now? Because I think somewhere in our brains, we've worked it out that it's, it's a system that if we put enough good in, good stuff will happen to us. And that's just not the way the world works. And that's just not the way God works. Because when we think about it, we live in a fallible world. It's a world that's meant to cause destruction and things are going to break down. Our bodies are designed to age and to break down. And God gave all of us free will, which is beautiful and wonderful. But when people enact their free will, sometimes we feel the results of that. And I think through the story of Job and through reading through all the messages that Jesus shared while he was on this earth, it's not to say that life isn't about avoiding bad things happening to us, not earning enough credit for God to protect us from things happening to us, but that God will be there with us in the middle of the storm, that he will give us peace during times of trial, and that if we trust him and love him, he will make a way for us through anything. Now, that doesn't always sound the most comforting when you're in the middle of it, especially since we're still in the middle of a pandemic. We don't know what we're going to do about school. A lot of people still don't know what they're going to do about work, about paying bills. <sighs> if I just give enough, if I just do enough good things, will God just help me through this? It's not how it works. But if we ask God for peace, if we ask God for direction, he will hold our hand and walk through us. And we're not going to just be victors over this. We're going to find peace through this. Which just, gosh, that's so what we need. Boy, God's smart, isn't he? <laughs> so today, um, I wanted to share a song with you about that and um, an activity about finding peace. So first, I want to share with you this song. It's called We Are More Than Conquerors. And um, it's kind of a modern hymn. And it's to remind us that we're not just here to conquer life and conquer earth, but we're here to experience it and that God walks through it with us and gives us the light, the fire, the passion um, to get through anything. Nothing is impossible with God. So um, join with me in singing this great song that through Christ, we are more than conquerors.
for joining with me in that song. It's one of my favorites. It's helped me through some really tough times when I've walked through. Times where I've put my hands up and go, why God, why? Why me? Why is this happening? And it reminds me that with Jesus, we can be more than above the situation. That we can walk through it and look back and see that we experienced it with peace. Well, other than music, another way that helps me find peace during a tough time is going to special places. Do you have a special place that you like to go to when you just need to breathe and relax? Well, one of my favorite places has always been um, the conservatory at Como Park. I used to live up in the Roseville area, I actually went to school um, at Northwestern University. And that was the place where I'd go when I just needed some peace and serenity and just be surrounded by um, the flowers in the garden and actually the Japanese Peace Garden is specifically designed for you to walk through and experience peace. So recently um, they've reopened and let you make a reservation and you basically get to walk through the place yourself. So I did that one day and took some video and um, asked God for peace. And what came to my mind while I was walking through there was Psalm 23 and the beautiful words that if we walk with God, he will always be there with us. So join with me on my walk through the Peace Garden at Como Conservatory and listen to the words of Psalm 23 and invite God in to share with you some of his peace during these troubling times. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside cool waters and refreshes my soul. He guides me along the paths for his namesake. And even though I walk through the darkest valleys, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Hopefully you can get out to some of the places that make you feel peaceful and calm. And even if you can't get there, um, sometimes just looking at pictures on your phone or sometimes just meditating, closing your eyes and imagining them can help. But I hope that through all these tough times that God is bringing you so much peace and comfort and guiding you through. We still don't know what tomorrow is going to look like, what next month is going to look like, what the school year is going to look like. Gosh, we could still be in this at Christmas time. Who knows? But we know that if we trust God and we follow him, we can walk through it in his hands, finding peace. Have a great week, friends.